Well, what my company does is that we make pharmaceutical intermediates, which um, is the active pharmaceutical ingredient in the tablets. So things like um, the paracetamol uh, and uh, ibuprofen and other things like uh, antidepressants, anti-AIDS drugs. Um, so it's the actual molecule that does the work in the body, not the tablet itself. We use chemistry every day here. Um, a lot of the people are, are lab-based staff, so um, uh, for example, a customer will come to us with a molecule that they would like uh, for us to make. Um, we start out by investigating how we would make that molecule. Uh, so we do a lot of work in the lab in small flasks, coming up with a, a better, cheaper, faster, cleaner way of making that particular molecule. And then we scale that up gradually to um, large vessels, some which could conceivably be the size of this room, and all of the associated problems that go along with that. So chemistry is involved from the very start to the very end of the project. The type of people we have working here, um, we have the lab chemists who do the, uh, the chemistry in the lab in the round bottom flasks. Um, we have um, the analysts who analyse the results, the kind of people you would see in CSI on the TV. We have the people who um, work on the plant, who actually scale it up onto the, uh, onto the chemical plant. We have uh, people who used to have uh, a technical background, so they did work in the lab, and then they've gone to work in purchasing or sales and marketing or to a commercial job that they go into um, to our customers and sell our capabilities and get new work for us. But those people would have originally come from a technical background, so they'd have done chemistry. Well, one good thing about working in chemistry, because I've done chemistry, is I actually get a lot of on-the-job satisfaction. You don't, uh, you don't think, oh no, I have to go into work today, as much as some people like my friends do. Um, as a result of the fact that it's a highly technical job, you do get better pay than um, the average punter in the street, I imagine. Um, as well as that, I mean, as part of my job, I also get to, to travel around, to go to conferences, present work, um, to go meet customers. Uh, and um, it's quite, it's fairly relaxed. I mean, a lot of it is to do with um, brain work and problem solving, which can be quite enjoyable in itself. The kind of chemical processes we, we use in the lab um, are mainly associated with the manufacture of pharmaceuticals, so that's a lot of organic synthesis, uh, catalysis, but also um, the physical processes associated with that, um, crystallization, which can be nice, uh, filtration, um, and uh, we do a lot of reaction screening in fancy bits of kit. For someone to be employed in the lab here, um, we would look for someone to have a good technical background, um, good analytical skills, a lot of common sense, um, but also a bit of uh, Im imagination and enthusiasm uh, for the job and good communication skills because we work as, as members of teams here. Advice I would give for someone who wanted to work in the industry is um, get as much of a technical background as possible, which usually means staying on in education for as, as long as you can. Um, that's not necessary, but it does get you a better job, as is the same in all industries. Uh, however, um, if that's not what you want to do, then just I would go with what you want, um, because there are jobs right the way from school leavers right up to PhD level in our industry. And um, if possible, try and find a bit more out about the companies you would like to work for and which sectors, because that, that always looks good at interview.